Hey guys, welcome back to The Music Hole. My name is Cole, and I'm very excited today to share with you one of my favorite new indie bands, which is Eternal Summers. And this is their album, The Drop Beneath, by 2014, which has two of my favorite songs of theirs on it, Gouge and Capture. Now, I would say that it's a very interesting band. They're definitely worth a spin, but I'm not going to claim they're great. You know, they're, 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 they're worth a spin, is what I would say. <laughs> You know, but anyway, so I'm very excited to talk about them with you guys. So today we're going to dive in with track two this time, and it's called A Burial. <laughs> Yeah, I love the sound of this song. And, you know, it's a very inspirational kind of romantic song, right? Because it's about this couple who have been through a lot. They've, you know, been fighting for a long time, it sounds like. Maybe one of them cheated on the other or something or whatever happened. You know, they, they had a lot of bad blood between them, but they've learned from their mistakes. They've talked about it. They've, you know, a burial being the name of the song is kind of referencing like burying the hatchet, so to speak, is what it means to me. But I like, what he's, I like what she says. She says, a burial of what's been said and done, is how she puts it. So it's an inspirational song. You know, it's kind of a beautiful message. You know, they, they've been through a lot together. They've had some beef against one another, but they've talked about it. They've had a conversation, and they're moving forward with their relationship. You know, it could have ended. They could have separated because of all these problems they had. But they're staying together, right? They clearly love each other. And even though they've been through some rough patches, they want to stay together. So I like the message of this song. But anyway, let's move on to track three, which is probably my favorite song on the album. And I recommend the music video for it. It's really cool. It's called Gouge. <laughs> Yeah, this is such a memorable song. I really love it. And it's a pretty intense song. I mean, what it makes me think of is this woman is so in love with this guy that she's willing to show it by 
you know, like, cut my, gouge my eyes out, cut my tongue out, you know, I'll do anything to be with you, you know, <laughs> it's just like, whoa, 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 lady, okay, we get it, you, you love this guy, um, but it sounds like she's not quite all there upstairs, because after this clip, she mentions, you know, please be patient with me in what will be, so what that implies is maybe she has a lot of mental problems that she's afraid will get in the way of, of this guy loving her back, right? So she's like, I know I'm really messed up. I know I have a lot of mental problems, but I, I would be willing to have my eyes gouged out just to be with you. That's how much I love you. So it's a pretty intense song if you think, if you think about it like that. Um, but it's definitely an underrated indie rock single in my opinion. It needs to be heard more. But anyway, that's track three. Uh, my favorite song. Let's talk about track four next, which is called Keep Me Away. I mean, this poor woman, it sounds like she's with a guy and there's all this gossip around town that maybe he's like cheating on her or doing other things, right? So she's just like constantly sad all day. And the only way she feels better is when she falls asleep at night, uh, you know, and goes into dreamland. And of course, you know, it's generally true, at least in my own life, where if you're feeling really down, usually what works is you, is you, you know, you fall asleep at night, and when you wake up the next day, you feel a lot better, usually. But this poor woman, it sounds like, you know, uh, this is all this awful gossip going around town about her man, and she just doesn't know what to, what to do with this information, really. It's kind of what it sounds like. So anyway, that's Keep Me Away. Uh, it's a pretty interesting song. But let's move on to another single from the album, track five, which is called Never Enough. Yeah, this is another great single from the album. I like this song, um, but it's kind of interesting. You know, I, I interpret this song as the girl in this relationship uh, kind of knows that her man is up to no good. But on the other hand, uh, he seems kind of irresistible to her because she says, you know, 
how will I resist you? How will I let you go? I miss you so. So it sounds like even though she knows that this guy has been doing a lot of things behind her back, you know, like cheating on her for one, obviously, um, she's just totally in love with this guy. She can't resist him for whatever reason. Maybe he's really handsome or has a great job or I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's really romantic when he's not cheating on her, whatever it is. Um, but she knows deep down she's got to let this guy go. She's got to dump this guy. But she's really struggling. And it's kind of interesting, you know, because in real life, uh, I mean, the reality is many, many women and men stay in relationships that aren't good for them. You know, an abusive husband or someone who's cheating on them or whatever it is. You know, you, you're given these easy excuses to leave, but for some reason you just can't leave them. So that's kind of what's going on here, is what I imagine. Um, I, I imagine that Never Enough, the name of the song, is referring to the fact that, like, uh, what he does to her, like, including cheating on her, is never enough to get her to leave him. That's how I interpret that. But anyway, um, let's move along to track number seven, which is called Not For This One. Yeah, I really like the male singer on this band. I'm a little sad that he only pops up here and there on their albums. He's got a good voice. Um, this song is a little hard to figure out. I imagine that it's about a guy who is deciding between being himself and acting a certain way in order to fit in. That's kind of what it seems to be about. I could be wrong, um, but there's a, there's a few allusions to that on these lyrics where like this guy, um, you know, it's just, it's just really struggling with trying to be himself, but by being himself, he doesn't make a lot of friends. Uh, he can't seem to fit in. I mean, I personally struggle with this in my own life. You know, I have a really hard time making friends um, and fitting into groups. I don't know why. It's just who I am. It kind of, it kind of is what it is. But anyway, so I feel for this, for this guy. Um, but that's not for this one. I, I like it quite a bit. But let's move on to my personal favorite song on the album, which is track nine, it's called Capture.
I just love, love, love this song. It kind of reminds me of R.E.M. Um, I just love the atmosphere that they deliver with this track. And I kind of imagine it's about capturing um, an idea musically, if that makes any sense. So when she says, uh, you know, I've been racing around, running aimlessly to capture the sound, to capture and release. I imagine she's talking about being a musician and having all of these great ideas. And, you know, when you've got a great idea as a musician, I would imagine that you want to write it down somehow. You want to record it somehow uh, and get it out there. Because, you, you know, great ideas just kind of come and go. And if you don't write them down or record them, they just disappear. I remember, for instance, in high school, it was very common for me to be in class, and I'd be listening to the teacher, you know, I'd be sitting there listening, and I would have this great idea, this great comment that I wanted to make in class, and I was always stupid. I would never write it down because, you know, I'd have to wait five minutes until it's my turn. So I never wrote it down. I'd always assume that I would remember it. So by the time it's my turn to speak, uh, I totally forgot what I wanted to say and it always annoyed me because you know at the time it felt like it was this amazing comment that everyone would have appreciated so like I kind of understand what she's getting at with this song you know great ideas come and go so when they do come you want to be able to capture and release them so anyway I love this song it's my favorite on the album but the last track I want to talk about is Track 11, which is called The Drop Beneath, the name of the album. So let's check it out. Write your secrets down, then pretend to have fun. Now, isn't that basically life in a nutshell, right? You can't let random people know all your troubles and woes. You can't let it out on them. You gotta like talk to your therapist or your lover or your best friend or write it down in your diary or whatever and get it out that way, right? Because when you go to a party in the real world, you gotta act like everything's cool, act like you're fine, act like you're a catch, like, there's nothing wrong with you, right? I mean, that's pretty much life. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately. But anyway, so that's the last clip I wanted to talk about with you guys. Again, as I mentioned on the intro, you know, I don't think they're a great band, but they're very talented. I think they're worth a spin. They're very interesting. They definitely know how to write a good single, in my opinion. You know, Gouge and Capture, and to some extent, Never Enough, are all really interesting singles. But anyway, I hope you find them interesting. Hopefully you enjoy them. Let me know, as per usual, your thoughts. Did you like them? Do you not like them? I'll check, what, I'll check out whatever you have to say. But yeah, that's Eternal Summers for you guys. Check them out and have a good one.